Hi, everybody. Eric with a quick tip and a trick for you. Uh, pretty advanced one, honestly. You'll be the hot shot of the block if you know this trick. Uh, in the speed bar on Matrix. So the speed bar, of course, is the little area in that green ribbon right below the normal tabs that you might use during everyday operation of the system. So the speed bar, pretty simply, if I click in there and I type in an FMLS number, I can do a search for it. Great, big deal. I can put in an address, 17 Johnson, look for a particular listing at that address. So those are kind of your basics. A more advanced feature, you might say, let's show me detached active properties between 450 and 600 in Decatur. Confirm whether you mean Decatur County or Decatur City. I want the city. So now I'm seeing detached actives in my price range in the city of Decatur. If I've already blown your mind and you say, oh my gosh, how does he know how to type that stuff in there? Well, I'm going to reference the help file on the left side of the speed bar. It's a little gray circle with a question mark in it. You can click on that and learn the lingo of how to perform some pretty cool, quick speed bar searches without having to navigate through the search field and all that kind of stuff, the search menu and all that. Now here's where we start to get really super advanced. Here's the point of this particular video. In your speed bar help file, you're going to start to notice that, for instance, it doesn't do subdivision. It doesn't do school. Okay, so you might say, wah, wah, well, it's not as helpful as I thought it was. But here's the thing, I can make it do a subdivision search. I can make it do a school search. It just doesn't do it on its own automatically. So here's how you can make the speed bar conform to your will and do, for instance, I'm gonna show how to do one for Pope High School is my example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over search and I'm going to think about what kind of homes or what kind of properties is it that I want to see. If I'm typically a residential person, I'm looking at condos, mostly single family home, that kind of thing, I might choose residential, right? If I'm looking for rentals, I might choose lease, all right? But if I want to open this wide up, let's go super advanced with this. I'm going to go ahead and actually use cross property. So I'm going to hover over cross property and I'm going to choose quick. This brings up a pretty standard search. So if I want to open this up as much as possible, I'll choose all property types. Why not? I'm also going to go so far as to say all property statuses. And I'm going to take out even all the 0-180s. I'm going to just open this whole thing as open as it's going to go. Every single thing ever. Okay. So here's what we want to do. Remember the limitation that we're wanting to overcome right now is we want to see things in Pope High School. Well, every time I'm talking about high schools, I'm always going to recommend that you do county. Okay. Because there could be a Pope High School in Cobb. There's a Pope High School in Bacon County. There's a Pope High School in Rabin County. So Put in the county that you want, and then I'm going to go down to high school, and I'm going to type in Pope. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to have a whole bunch of listings at this point. That's okay. We don't care right now. We're going to click results. Uh, it might take us to this humongous screen. That's okay. We're going to go to save, and we're going to go to new speed bar shortcut. All right. So you're usually used to probably coming to save to do an auto email, right? Is normally what you're doing down here. But we're going to go to save, new speed bar shortcut, and we're going to name this shortcut. I'm going to call it Pope. Now notice that the speed bar shortcut field starts with a slash. Keep that slash there. You have to have the slash. And then put in a word that you want to use. Now if you want to do Pope High School, maybe Pope HS, the the key here is two things. One, you have to leave in that slash. And two, you can't use spaces. So if you want to literally type out Pope High School, you could. But the more you type, of course, the more you're going to have to type it all the time. So I'm just going to use slash Pope. Okay? You can put in a description if you want to. All property 
types and statuses, statues, statuses going to Pope High School Cobb County, right? That's optional, but it just kind of makes me think of this. I know what I'm talking about now when I look at that description. And so I'm going to click save. It reminds me of my criteria down here. I'm going to click save. And so now it says created shortcut slash Pope, right? Now we're ready to go. So if I go into matrix from this point forward and I use that lingo, detached, active, 450 to 600. And if I now say slash Pope, what I'm telling matrix to do is I'm saying, First, find detached active homes in this four hundred and fifty to six hundred thousand dollar price range, but then tie in the criteria of that Pope shortcut that I made. Now, when I press Enter, we're seeing that I have currently thirteen matches of detached active listings in my price point going to the Pope High School. If I actually add High School in here, we can see that. Just in case you're thinking I'm crazy. Or you don't trust me we've got Pope High School okay so it's a nice easy way to make some shortcuts if you've forgotten what shortcuts you've made maybe you've gone shortcut crazy after this video you can see your shortcuts by hovering over my matrix going down to my speed bar shortcuts and all of them will be shown here when you can then maybe say oh I don't deal with Pope High School anymore let's put a check mark there and delete it great it's gone and you can kind of start over. So those are just some really advanced things that you can do in the speed bar with a speed bar shortcut. If you have any problems or questions, you can contact our support department at 404-255-8660. They're available to you Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 5.